How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to enable the 2FA or two-factor authentication setting for your account on booking.com. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you need to go to booking.com and log in with your account. So once you guys are here, you're on your website and the dashboard, you want to navigate to the top right corner of your screen till you see your profile icon. So it's this one right here. So the idea here is you want to click on it to get access to your account settings. So we're going to click on it and right away, you'll see that the first option says manage account. So when you guys cl uh, click on this, this is going to redirect you to a new page where you get to configure your account settings. And I should say that the reason that you may want to have a 2FA uh, toggle for your account is because uh, should the event where your account gets compromised, having a 2FA setting enabled may actually save your account as well as all of your data and registered uh, payment details. So what I mean by that is th that um, if someone were to get access to your login credentials, they wouldn't be uh, able to get past the login page because of this 2FA setting. And the reason for that is because you can only do so by uh, SMS or your email account that's tied to your booking.com account. So to actually enable it, it's quite simple. Like I said, you want to click on security from here, like so. And automatically, you'll see that there's an option that says two factor authentication. So you want to click on set it up just like that. Click on next. And it reads here that if you don't have the authenticator app installed for your phone or whatever, you, uh, you need to download one uh, having two options being Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator. So either way is fine, but what, what will happen here is once you make your selection and you've installed the app, you simply want to take a picture of this QR code or you want to view this key right here, this one right here, and save it and use it every time you guys log in. And that's honestly it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have the YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.